So Miriam, explain to me what happens when a child walks into a courtroom like this. So what happens is the door opens and they look forward, of course, as we always do, and typically the first thing they see is the perpetrator. For children like that, for kids that have experienced significant trauma, what tends to happen is they panic. Well, as you can tell, the courtroom is pretty intimidating for a lot of people. So imagine you're six, you're seven, you're eight, talking about a very adult subject. You need something um, or someone to actually kind of help guide you through the process. Mickler's perfect. When there are children that need him, he comes to court. When he comes in, he gets on the witness stand and he sits underneath. Kids like dogs, dogs like kids. So when you have one that can work in a therapeutic environment, it takes a very difficult subject and kind of brings it down to the child's level in such a way that they have comfort and they're able to express what happened to them. So the child um, usually holds his leash and um, he's there so sometimes they'll, they'll put their feet on him, sometimes they'll rub his ears, sometimes just feeling that leash and knowing that they're not alone is what help get, helps get them through. I'm hoping Mickler can provide the comfort that the kid needs to talk and explain what happened to them. Because if the kid's not comfortable, the victim, the child's not comfortable, they're not gonna relay some of the stuff that legally needs to come out. And when that happens, the case can be weakened by that. Do you think that Mickler can sense that? I know that he can. Um, part of his job as a, as a facility dog is to be able to sense that and to sense when people are frightened or scared and he automatically goes to them. Are you in the courtroom when the child is testifying? Yes. And what kind of trials are we talking about here? We are talking about um, any kind of abuse trial. It could be physical abuse, sexual abuse. It could be witnessing domestic violence. It could be witnessing a homicide, um, anything like that. After the trial, do you see the child and do they say anything about how Mickler has helped them through that process? A lot of times our families are incredibly grateful um, and at one point this one child told Mickler that he was her hero. And when you see that they're just a kid now, that the role of victim is done, the trial has ended and they're being a kid next to a dog, it makes you realize that there's hope that they can continue being a kid and kind of put this behind them. The Center for Child Protection and the Travis County District Attorney were the first in the state of Texas to bring in a therapy dog to help children testify in court. Her name was Sydney and she died in 2016. Since then, Mickler has been called into court to help 30 children as young as five years old.